Good morning, gentlemen. So with today's video, Rush is back, and we're actually going to be doing a few more videos, so expect a lot more of Rush for the remainder of the year. Ooh, joy. <laughs> Yay for me, so at least I get a meal out of it. But with today's video guys, we're gonna be talking about Carolina Herrera. This is a brand that I haven't really talked about at all. And this lineup, I haven't spoken about at all neither, but Carolina Herrera's Vetiver Paradise. Now this is from like their exclusive, their Prevail line. This one was actually launched in 2017 and it's classed as a Woody Spicy. Now the note breakdown, I'll just list it off because you told me to list them off as this is take number two. Top notes are gonna be bergamot, grapefruit, and pink pepper with them being neroli, cardamom, and nutmeg, and the base is gonna be vetiver, but also woods. Do you get any of those notes? Now, I've been wearing this for the last five, six days. I get the bergamot. I'm not getting a whole lot of vetiver. What it is, is extremely soapy. So it might be the, the, the neroli that, that's making that soap. Yeah, I mean, it's less grapefruit. I'm not even getting the grapefruit. All I'm getting is soap. So for me, this opens a very bright, very citrusy. There is a little bit of neroli to add a little bit of a, like a soapy tinge to it. Mm. And I find that the, the neroli does add a little bit of a floral tick in some ways. It's not, like you really have to pay attention for it. And there's a, a little bit of the spices. And I also get a fair bit of vetiver. For me, this reminded me of one particular fragrance. Tom Ford, gray vetiver. Okay, I'm a big gray vetiver fan. I live for the gray vetiver EDP. It does make you think in that direction, but they're not close enough to be what you'd call twins. No, and you're correct there, because the name itself is a little bit misleading. The vetiver is there. It's not driving the car. No, it's not. Now, I, I've had this on my arm for the last two hours. You've had it on your hand for the last 15 minutes, but. It's a fresh, aromatic, clean scent with some woody undertones. The name is definitely misleading and the performance is definitely lackluster. Oh well. No more than four to five hours. Out. And for what you're spending, it's a luxury line. You're looking to spend about $125 Canadian. So convert that, that's 100 to like $105 USD. It smells really nice. Smoke. What? <laughs> but it's definitely not worth that price then. No. Would you say that this is a warmer season scent or all year round? I'd say spring, summer, and early fall. And I would agree. It's pretty versatile. It's more of a daily wear in a sense. It would it would be killed in the winter time. Oh yeah. But this is more of a daily wear. It's great for work. I think it's more of a work scent than anything. Yeah, I agree. And this is also marketed towards both genders. It's unisex. Would you can you see that? Yeah, actually I can, because it smells like soap. I find it leans more towards the men out there. Just oh, yeah, the I, it, lean, it, it leans more towards the men, but it smells like soap, so therefore anyone could wear it. True, but you know, I just find that it leans more towards the guys out there. Like, not like a whole lot, but I would say like 60-40. It's just that vetiver, that vetiver cord that, that mans it up. But you know, citruses and rolly, a little bit of warm spices, and the vetiver. Okay, you might be uh, hearing the rain pitter patter because it's just coming down all of a sudden. I was just noticing. Now, this might brighten up your day on a day like today when it's weather has just came out of nowhere, but this is a fragrance that I personally can't justify spending the money. Even if I was swimming in money, I don't think it's worth the money. I wouldn't buy it. Would you recommend it to anybody? I, I could probably recommend it, but I would, it would come with the warning that its longevity isn't worth the crap. It's just a fragrance to go do some errands and just to smell good. That's just make sure you're home within four to five hours. That's it, or just bring a decan. Yeah. Like, it's a really ple pleasant scent, you know, mm -hmm. and yeah. what made me decide to try this one is because it was more easily available and it was cheaper because this line, even for the, the decans itself, is nuts. So guys, that is our take of Carolina Herrera's Vetiver Paradise. If you like this very video, leave us one of these. If you wanna see other videos that we have done together, because that this is an upscale fragrance, check out this side here, all right? Thank you for your time, take care, and we will see you later. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.